Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take you guys behind the scenes to what the day after a live video looks like. Mark's not gonna appear on camera today, so I know you guys might miss him, but we have some delicious food that we wanted to share with you guys. So we used uh, DoorDash and we got, I don't even know what any of this is, but this was Mark's choice. Oh, it smells so good. What did we get? We got yukejang kalgoksu. Oh. So this is the kalgoksu. <gasps> wow, wait, these are, I think on the app it said these were like handmade noodles. Yeah, they're cut noodles. Wow, these look like they're side dishes. Oh, I like the packaging. Oh, let's see. Oh, is this spicy? Oh, it, oh my God, it smells so good. So this is Korean spicy beef. <gasps> Oh my god, so, it smells so good. Smells I'm gonna good. add the noodles, like these straight into here. That's how we eat, yeah. Oh, okay. Or you could eat it with rice. The soup needs to uh, get into the noodles. Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh. I was surprised that you were craving this. This wasn't. Anywhere near my I, radar. I love you, Kejang, but we don't eat it enough. You know? So we had a lot of um, tequila yesterday, or more than usual. Whose Wait. idea was that? Was it my idea? Yeah. yeah Should we rewatch the replay? Right. I don't know. It was either that or vodka. It would have been the same. Well, it probably would have been the same result, but I don't know. Does anyone actually like tequila in our community? Let us know in the comments. I'm getting my noodles out right now. Good. Hitting the spot. It also came with fish cake and kimchi over here too. Let me just try some of the soup. Oh. Good, huh? Yeah. It's not, it looks spicier than it is. Oh, it's not that spicy, yeah. It seems like there's a lot of noodles. There's, looks like this is like shredded beef. Yeah, there's some beef, egg, green onion. There's egg in here? Yeah, this little white thing. Oh, okay. Mmm, <sighs> nice and chewy noodles. Mine is like just right with heat. Sometimes when it's too hot, I don't really do well with like really hot soups. So yeah, yesterday was one of those, we were on live and did not clean up after the live was over. <laughs> so this morning we like both came out here and cleared out the kitchen. Oh, I forgot to run the dishwasher. I was definitely afraid that um, the food wasn't put away, but you, I opened the fridge for like water earlier and I saw that you packaged it. I was like, when did you do this? <laughs> I don't remember. Mmm. <laughs> So normally we eat this with rice. So mm. this place, we have an option to, instead of rice, getting the noodles. Do you prefer with rice or noodles? I, well, I only, I only, I never actually had this with noodles, if I mm. think about it. I really like it with noodles. Mm. I like it with the noodles. So each of these were $18. Is that normal pricing? It might be a little bit higher on DoorDash. Well, so there's far. no way this was leaving the house today, right? Girl, don't let... Oh, okay. I'm not they can't see right. I oh, already okay. told you that they can't see you. But this might be one of those days where it's like 8 o'clock and Mark is still wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a scary thing. Sometimes we're like this um, on Tuesdays, depending on how Monday lives go. But this is usually okay for Fridays. <laughs> Oh my god, do you need more soup? I'm just craving the soup. You're a soup phenom. What is that? 
like you're just in love with super dude. Um, actually, was it two weeks ago after a live on a Saturday morning, didn't we get ramen? Mm. And Mark only, I felt like he only drank the soup and then he gave me all of the ramen and the pork that was left over. I'm glad I got this one. There was another one for where the soup looked like milky. Mm. This one is probably the one in Buena Park. Yeah, we drive by it when we go to H Mart. What plaza is it in? It's kind of near the um, current barbecue place that Samo. Oh, it's in that side. Yeah. Huh. Near the, what was that shaved ice place? Mm -hmm. And Modu Donuts. Yeah. Yeah, my plan was to like take a shower, get all cute for this mukbang and then basically when i like got off the couch like peeled myself off the couch to start doing that the app said the the dasher was already approaching i was like no time what were you doing right before the food i think i was doing like a little pedicure <laughs> and maybe a little youtube video catching up you want me to microwave some rice for you okay I don't have my wedding ring on, but this morning Mark kept asking me, where's your wedding ring? Where's your wedding ring? I wanna say two, two weeks ago, he accidentally hid the wedding ring from me. Okay, hid is such a strong word. What, what was it then? I placed it there for safekeeping. Okay, and where did, <laughs> where did you place it for safekeeping, hmm? Cause I would never, it, yeah, it was one of those scenarios where I'm like, I know you had my ring last, I couldn't have lost the ring because I didn't leave the house except for when I took Hattie out in the morning, maybe. But of all places, the ring was like underneath my side of the bed. Well, here's the thing is because that day I fell asleep on the floor on your side of the bed and I had it, so I just placed it next to me. And I did the same thing last night. I I wore your ring for safekeeping because I didn't want you to lose it. Where was the ring, like, before you took it for where you ended up putting it? I don't remember. I just remember it was on my thumb bone. Well, then you don't even know where you picked it up <laughs> from. I'm sure it was somewhere for safekeeping. It's probably just on the kitchen island, and sometimes when we clean up after our lives, we've thrown away scissors on oh, accident. Oh, I did? Plates on accident. We've thrown away things that, like, you know, is buried under, you know, some trash. Oh, that happened recently. So I'm afraid that the ring was, I think the ring was on the kitchen island if I think about it. Cause I didn't do dishes. Why would it be there? Why would I get it there? Oh, you yeah, you never left the- Yeah, I never shower. left the seat, yeah. That last time, that was great and all, your intentions was really well, but then when I asked you where it was, you didn't know where it was. No, but I, <laughs> wasn't it smart that I looked, I was like, where was I, where was I last? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, I was on the floor. That, that ring was uh, was on the tape, the coffee table, and you decided to take the liberty to like move it to another area, which you didn't remember. <laughs> like when I found the ring, James, I could tell that he was like relieved and happy, but then he didn't want to look happy. <laughs> he wanted to continue to look annoyed at me. <laughs> but I could tell he was like wanting to smile. I didn't want you to get off that easy, especially since you were the cause of all that Saturday morning commotion. <laughs> awesome one, mm -mm. I don't know how I feel about these giant onions though. Well, don't eat it. Like I like onions. Green onions. Green onions, but when they're like super large, they it's just too much. But then if they're chopped smaller, then you like it. Yeah. I could eat sliced cucumbers, but I can never eat it whole. But girl, I've seen you eat, I've seen you eat a whole cucumber. I don't know, but that's more your thing. I don't like eating whole cucumbers. We need to make sure we have like 
Gatorade or Pedialyte every Saturday moving forward. Mark is drinking some barley tea, but before this he made some like water honey mixture. For some reason like old school Korean people drink honey water. Like the spouse makes honey water for their like partner who came home drunk. And oh. it's the first thing they drink in the morning the next day. You know, so earlier when you were in the room laying and you wanted water, I was like, okay, I'll get you water. But then you said honey water. I thought you meant like beer. Cause when you drink beer, you're like, oh, it tastes like honey water. Isn't that what you say? <laughs> so I was like, why do you want beer right now? You look like you shouldn't be drinking anything right now. <laughs> mm, a fish cake here. Yeah. And kimchi. Where's those? Oh, he's right here. Set. Okay, I'll give you an appetizer after, okay? So, yeah, around, it's, it's like one o'clock. Because I work remotely now, Hedu knows like around noon or one o'clock to like ask for a midday treat. We call it appetizer. So that's kind of why he's probably looking around because he can't eat any of this. And kimchi just like feels like medicine. Not like taste wise, but just like it reinvigorates me. Mmm. Okay, look how much I ate. And then look at how much Mark ate. I don't know if he cares if I do this, but look at his is all noodles still. I think I'm just gonna combine it because. Oh, now I kind of want another bite of noodles. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of our other videos and we'll see you for our next one. Bye.